In the shadows of the sacred text lurk creatures you've never imagined, buried beneath layers of translation and interpretation, hide beings of unimaginable power and terror. Today we delve into the monstrous beings hidden within the pages of the Bible. These aren't just stories, they're glimpses into a realm where faith and fear collide. Our journey begins with a plunge into the abyss where the Leviathan lurks. The Bible describes it as a serpentine beast, its scales impenetrable, its teeth like rows of swords. Imagine the churning ocean, the salt spray stinging your face, as this behemoth rises from the depths, its eyes glowing with an ancient, malevolent intelligence. The Leviathan isn't just a monster, it's a force of nature, a symbol of chaos and the untamed power of the natural world. Some scholars believe the Leviathan to be a crocodile, exaggerated through the lens of myth. But can a creature so deeply ingrained in our collective consciousness be so easily explained away? From the depths we rise to the land where another monstrous being awaits the behemoth. This creature, a colossal beast of immense strength and power, is shrouded in mystery. The Bible describes the behemoth as having bones like tubes of bronze, limbs like bars of iron. Its tail, we are told, is like a cedar tree, strong enough to topple mountains. Some scholars believe the behemoth to be a hippopotamus or an elephant, their size and strength amplified by the passage of time and the power of storytelling. Could the behemoth still roam the earth, hidden in unexplored corners, a relic of a time before man? Moving from the realm of beasts, we encounter beings who blur the line between humanity and monstrosity, the Nephilim. Described as the offspring of angels and human women, the Nephilim were said to be giants, their presence on earth a disruption of the natural order. Imagine a world where beings of immense size and strength walked among us, their presence both awe-inspiring and terrifying. The Bible speaks of their wickedness, their appetites for violence and destruction. Were they corrupted by their celestial parentage or were they simply manifestations of humanity's darkest impulses? The Nephilim represent the duality of our nature, the constant struggle between good and evil that plays out within each of us. Our journey takes us deeper into the shadows to the figure of Lilith, a creature shrouded in mystery and controversy. Often depicted as Adam's first wife, Lilith defied him and God, choosing independence over subservience. She's often associated with temptation, seduction and the untamed feminine. Was Lilith a demon, a monster or simply a woman who refused to be controlled? Her story has been interpreted and reinterpreted throughout history. Lilith's refusal to conform, her embrace of her own desires continues to resonate with those who feel marginalized or misunderstood. She represents the power of individuality, the courage to challenge the status quo. Our exploration concludes with the seraphim, celestial beings often depicted with six wings and fiery eyes. These are not the gentle, benevolent angels often portrayed in art. The seraphim are beings of immense power, their very presence inspiring awe and terror. Imagine encountering a being of pure light, its wings spanning the heavens, its voice a chorus of thunder. The seraphim are often described as messengers of God, their presence signifying his power and glory. They stand guard around his throne, their fiery swords a symbol of his might. The seraphim remind us that there are forces in the universe beyond our comprehension, forces that can inspire both fear and reverence. As we turn the final page of our exploration, the shadows of these biblical monsters linger. They are reminders of the ancient fears and fascinations that have haunted humanity for millennia. These creatures, both terrifying and captivating, challenge us to confront the unknown, to explore the boundaries of our beliefs. Join us next time as we uncover more hidden tales from ancient texts.